Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I get asked a lot about um, the uh, that splatter effect that I do on my art. So I figured I would just um, show you guys how I do it. Um, you know, I, I use that, that white splatter effect to make like stars or um, like water bubbles, glitter. It's pretty multi-purpose. Um, so the first step is, um, and I'm putting on gloves because um, this stuff stains my fake tacky fingernails um so the material i use is um this white deleter ink um it's from japan so i usually order it on amazon and then it takes like three weeks to arrive um the reason i use this i know the standard for this kind of um process is uh pro white the like white gouache um i used to use that um but i found that for some reason when it sits on this paper um it turns yellow <laughs> over time so um i have phased that out completely um so this white deleter ink um when it arrives it's usually a little too thick so i, I tend to add water to it um and then it kind of just like gives it a little more uh splatter and then um i have my handy dandy toothbrush um this is the same toothbrush i've been using for like five years now so it it has seen hell um so i just tip the end of the toothbrush in there only the very end just the tip um because um the stuff gets real crazy and you want to have like as much control over it as possible so you pick an area where you want like a lot of splatter and you kind of get some of that off of there first before you start doing like small areas so I just position it over an area that I want to splatter and then I literally just hit it with the finger like that um, and as you can see like the splatter starts off like big and then the like spots get like smaller and smaller and that's how we're gonna get the details to happen um, because you can make like a gradient happen if you know how to like control it um, so let's get a little more on there that first the first splatter was weak okay um so this this might this might be too much but whatever um so yeah let's just get in there and the, the like harder you flick the bristles um the more like splatter you'll get which is good because then you'll get like the bigger dots too um so as you can see it's already kind of getting a little looser a little weaker um, which means that we can start doing some detail. So I want this necklace to be glowing. So we're gonna start focusing on that. Um, the truth is I don't have a huge game plan when I do this. I know it looks like I do, um, but I'm just really good at faking it. Um, like I know I want that to glow. I think I want like this to glow and maybe like around here, but beyond that, I'm kind of winging it a little bit. Um, and then like some of this like spray splatter, if it goes like places I don't want it to, I just go back later with ink and I just cover it again. Um, so yeah, you get like kind of a little glow effect here. Like I said, I'll probably add some of her hand details back in. Um, and then, yeah, you can get like a, like a gradient going. Like I'll just go over like this area right here to kind of show you what I mean. Um, so yeah, we're starting to get like a bit of a, a glow happening. Um, and it can, it can take a while. It's definitely like a process. There's a learning curve to it. Um, let's put more on there. Uh, you can see there's like a ton on the end there. This is probably gonna make a mess, but uh, fuck looking before you leap, right? Uh, let's see here. Ooh, ooh, yeah, see, big splatters. Oh Lord, yeah, mm-hmm. That's good though, that's what I want. Um, Cause like I said, I can just fix stuff later. It's not, not the end of the world. Let's kind of like go back over this, blah, blah, blah. And you can definitely kind of like aim. It, it takes a while to like, kind of learn to do it but um, you can definitely like learn to get a lot of control over this um, 
So yeah, you guys get the idea. Like, um, I'll be doing this for the next <laughs> five minutes. Um, but yeah, um, that's how I do it. Toothbrush, white deleter ink, tons of practice, endless mistakes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something from that. Uh, thanks everyone. I'll uh, see you when the cover's done. <laughs> Bye.